Hey there, beautiful earth angels. Elvia Rowe here, founder of angelsteach.com and welcome to Messages from the Angels for July, 2022. It is full on summer here and at least in the Northern Hemisphere and uh, just favorite time of year here. So one thing that is not directly tied to these messages, but um, I will say that the angels have, have put really front and center for me to mention here today is the theme of forgiveness and the importance of forgiving ourselves for whatever it is that's right front and center for you right now. Um, you know, for me, we've had such a busy few weeks here that I actually haven't um, had any time to write and that then gets this little demon here saying well how are you gonna create that book if you don't actually start to write it you know and <laughs> I know I'll get back to it in divine time and so EFT is a great tool even though I haven't felt like I have time to write you know whatever um, whatever it is for you really be aware of the opportunity to forgive yourself for whatever it is that is kind of clenching down on your heart. And maybe this is actually a theme with the readings uh, this month. So weave that in as it feels right to you. Um, I think you're gonna find these images pretty interesting. At least that's my prayer. So with all of that as backdrop, just go ahead and choose number one, number two, or number three. We were driving back from a trip to Lowe's with our daughter back to her house in Philadelphia and it was a steamy hot day and we were all craving smoothies. So she had actually run to the store to pick up our smoothies and Peter parked the car and I looked across the street and saw this. And I wasn't actually intending to snap any photos for the reading this month, but this just grabbed my attention so strongly first of all there's the whole empress thing you know this 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 is so much about embracing your empress self your inner regal royal queen king self you know and really understanding what that means for you because this is where it starts to get a little tricky it can be like oh okay so i need to own my my regal empress, my regal emperor. And of course, we're not talking about a tyrant. We're talking about the part of us that is the divine ruler, the divine, a uh, divinely connected um, authority, you know, which, which really translates into just really knowing yourself and being confident in yourself is what that's about. Um, but a lot of times it can feel like, of course, a journey. And so this, this photo actually has so many different messages in here. The first thing that I want to emphasize is this garage where it looks dark, you know, and it looks like, hmm, what's in there? That could be kind of scary to go inside there. I can see some machinery. I can see some equipment in there, but there's a lot that's hidden. But the doors open. And this is an invitation for those of you who chose number one to explore, to take this month, which is often a month that has a different kind of a rhythm to it. It's often more about being outside, being um, kind of in the flow of fun and leisure and just more creative in a lot of ways um, for some people anyway. So this is about really allowing yourself to go into that darkness and know that it's okay. Second thing I want to mention is that um, <laughs> This really just sort of underscores it. There's a turret. Look on the left side of this image. There's a turret tower, which is just um, really more a reminder that you have always been this royal being. And I know that can be a lot to swallow at times um, to consider ourselves as royalty, um, but it's really about owning that connection with source. Again, and being confident in the gifts that you are here to offer the world. So the turret being more in the past position is a wink about this is always who you've been. So as we move into the future, 
and I apologize in advance if this is going to offend anyone, not my intention, but I'm just reading it as I see it. There's some, um, in the building to the right of this image, it's the U.S. Hotel, but what it says is U.S. Ho, and what this is about is not, and again, my apologies, not trying to offend, but not to prostitute yourself to anything other than what is true and right to you. And that's extreme language, I understand that. Um, but I think it's for emphasis because anytime that we step away from who we really are and we compromise and we give ourselves away, we are prostituting ourselves. We are, are sacrificing, you know, what we're here to do and who we're here to be. And, you know, there's nothing more important than that is to really own who we are. So uh, I wrote an article um, recently about the importance of knowing human design. Um, and, and you may know of human design, you may not. It doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is that you know your own energy, that you know the energy of your children and your loved ones and your parents and all those. Um, because human design is, um, I don't want to get into it, it's a very, very long rabbit hole, but uh, suffice to say, it gives you a map of your energy, similar to astrology. It actually encompasses some elements of, of astrology into it and uses your birth information. And it helps to understand how you're wired and to some extent why you're wired that way. Um, and not just for yourself, but for other people. So anytime that you are being a workhorse, just giving you an example here, and you're not designed to be a workhorse, you're stepping away from who you really are and what you were built to be. So, so important. Um, angels want me to give you another example. So another example, Peter and I were out last night uh, with some friends for his birthday, and he and I both have what's called open throats, meaning that it's really hard in a loud place for us to be heard unless somebody says, so Elvia, what do you think? And then that energizes my throat and I'm able to be heard and what I say is, is, is received in the way that it's meant to be received. Um, other people have a lot of energy in their throat. That's not a requirement for them. But for me, knowing that and being in this crowd of people was pivotal because um, you know, I just don't expect myself to be able to do something that I can't do. So long way of saying, if you chose number one, be the empress, be the emperor, know your energy, own it, carry it like a crown, loud and proud and tall and strong, because that's who you really are. For those of you who chose number two, it's really interesting. Before we get there, I'm realizing that not only is forgiveness a theme, uh, there's this theme of owning your power, which of course is always important, but there is just so much emphasis on it this month. Um, it'll be interesting to see how things transpire. So this image is a photo that I actually took last night while we were out at this rooftop restaurant bar in Providence, Rhode Island. And what you will see here is what we lovingly call the Superman building. And um, I'm trying to remember if it was actually used in a Superman movie. I think it might have. Um, but it was the Industrial National Bank building for many, many years. And it's actually vacant now, which is um, kind of sad to see. But hopefully somebody will pick it up and renovate it and give it new life. But regardless, it really owns the skyline and defines the skyline in Providence and is this regal structure. And so a couple of things that are really coming forward for me with this image is that those chairs with the red cushions and that table there, um, there's something sitting in front of you, if you chose number two, that is worn and tattered. If you look at the furniture, not the cushions so much, but the actual wood looks like it's weathered quite a bit. 
and there's there's something that is sitting right in front of you that is worn out that is old and um and even the vacancy of the the superman building is relevant here it's like just this energy that needs to move on and so what i'm hearing is that this is a call for healing actually um, more directly than the first card. The first card was more of a, I'm hearing like a power punch message, reminder kind of thing. This, for those of you who chose number two, um, is really this, rem not just a reminder, but the that there's something sitting right in front of you that is ready to be released to help you to stand in your power in, in that kind of way. And if you look at the clouds and those jet trails that are, are going from left to right you know it's all lined up things are in order for you to do this work you have what you need to um, to accomplish this um, but it is important that you do it because uh, you know things this image just there's aspects of it that show deterioration um, and this is a call to halt that you know and yeah so <laughs> interesting um the angels are i've thought a lot about arthritis and arthritis in some ways feels like deterioration right of joints and such um, i have been diagnosed with arthritis it's actually a year since i had hip replacement and the point is is i as i've thought about it the emotion that came up most prominently was irrelevancy and feeling irrelevant and so the last year i've spent a lot of time and effort working through feelings of irrelevancy and you know as as hard as it can be to look at that stuff being as truthful and honest as you possibly can with what you think might be sort of corrosive energies, corrosive feelings and beliefs um, in your body, mind, spirit, looking at the body for clues, if there's diagnoses that might be able to give you some clues is really, really helpful and um, not easy. So make sure that you have the support that you need um, to get through it. Can't emphasize that enough. Um, and, and, just know that you're forever surrounded by your angels. You have the support you need. That's that's what definitely part of this message is that there's a foundation that's very strong. You have what you need and just kind of roll up your sleeves and, and, and do it. For those of you who chose number three, this image is actually a photograph that's right next to the one for number one, because you'll see that turret there, um, more, more pronounced actually in this image. Um, and you can see a, a little strip of that Empress building on the right. And it's interesting, when I went through my camera roll, because I took a bunch of different pictures, um, you know, with the intention of them being for this, for this purpose and didn't realize when the angels were like, uh-huh, this one, um, that they were actually next to each other. So that's kind of interesting. And I think that there's a message in and of itself there with one and three being so just a ju juxtaposed. Um, but so this message is so much about creativity. It's about, you know, really prominent for me is that word designer up in blue letters up towards the top. Um, this is really about an opportunity to design that royal part of who you are, that you're, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of your under construction message here. Um, and so being okay with that, you're not, you're not quite at that place where you're ready for business. Um, you know, the, the future side of this particular building is boarded up, it's under construction. The past side, which is the glass, and there's if you if you zoom on this, there's some beautiful detail in this um, building, even though it's abandoned at this point. Um, but you can see that um, you know it really has gorgeous bones, and it has so much detail, and it has so much history, and it has so much thought into its design, and. So consider yourself really under construction. 
And what that means is that you are at a point, if you chose number three, where contemplation is important, remembering the strength of who you are, again, that's so big, forgiving, so big, so that you can create and be, design the person that you're here to be. We do have input. You know, you know, there are some people who feel that when you connect with your angels, that everything is predetermined and that it's just kind of like, OK, follow my leader. Um, and there is so much freedom in following our guidance and surrendering to that guidance. And we also have so much more that we have at our fingertips to be able to create and to take that guidance and words in my head are blow it up, you know, make it big, make it bold, make it beautiful, because we can take guidance to, um, I don't know, cook rice, and we cook rice, and it's sort of guidance that is right, but maybe, and this is kind of a silly example, but you'll get it, uh, maybe it's cook rice, and if I listen a little bit more acutely and I take that guidance a little bit more creatively, I start to add things. I start to add a little miso paste. I start to add perhaps some chopped scallions. I start to add maybe a little bit of chicken broth. You know, it starts to become this thing that's still technically rice, but it's this big, bold, beautiful, delicious, now I'm hungry, <laughs> meal. Um, and you know i think that's what the the emphasis of uh, number three is to understand that you're under construction keep following your guidance because my sense is that you you really pretty much are just allow it to grow from the base that it is and that you've built upon it so that you can really design your life more um, in a more fulfilled way is what I'm hearing. So I'm just tuning in to see if there's anything else. My magic wand says, nope, that's complete. So that is our messages for the month of July, 2022. I pray that you got everything that you needed from these messages. Make sure that any additional messages, I did see winks and nods here and there, you're gonna get stuff that I don't see. You know, own it. Whatever you get from this, own it. Paying attention to what's happening in your surroundings as you're watching this. You know, what are you hearing? What are you feeling in your body? What are you seeing in the, the surroundings around you? Um, just paying attention to all of that because that's part of actually that feels like the the rice example you know that's taking your guidance and making it bigger you know really owning it standing stall, tall and strong and being the empress emperor that you are here to be so with that if you haven't already please do come on over to angelsteach.com and I would love to welcome you over there so much love enjoy the month be well, be blessed.